Legend of Total War here with part 5 of my The Great Conflicts Let's Play campaign as the Byzantines. Okay, so it's been about two weeks since the previous episode, and there's a number of reasons for that. For one, I've got some update files from the developers of this mod, uh, just, to, just to give a couple of quick updates for it. Um, we'll go into detail about what updates uh, should be. Like, um, there should be um, banners in battles now, and um, the, the green circles around selected units should now uh, reappear before it wasn't. Uh, the reason for that apparently was um, uh, so that they were able to take screenshots easier. Obviously the, the game's still in development, they're advertising it. It's not a finished product just yet. Um, another reason is that I've been in the uh, United Kingdom for about a week. Well actually, I've been I've been away from Australia in a week. I actually spent about three days in the UK. Just it takes me like two days to get there, two days to get back. Um, I've been at Creative Assembly uh, doing some things which I can't really discuss just yet, which I'll, I'll reveal over the next few days, weeks, whatever. Um, I didn't really want to let people know I was going there because I know I'd just get bombarded with emails. I'm already getting bombarded with emails about people wanting me to uh, basically stick it to CA about their DLC policy. Really, there's nothing anyone could do about us, to be honest. I mean, if you don't support the DLC policy, I mean, the best thing that you can do is not pre-order. That's really the only thing you can do. I mean, petitions and all that kind of shit, it's not going to do jack shit, and that's just the reality of it. Anyway, let's get on to uh, get on with this. Uh, and, by the way, we did bring it up with CA, okay? So it was... We did speak about it, okay? Just, just so you guys don't think I'm some sort of fucking corporate shill. Um, that's not why I was fucking there. Alright, so, let's see. Did I just press something I wasn't supposed to? Oh, I did, but he's okay. He, wasn't, he didn't move anyway. Um, okay, so I've, I'm pretty sure I've got three armies. So where are they? Did I put my siege equipment there? Yeah. I've also got a bit of a... Uh, a bit of a throat cold as well. Seems like I picked something up in the airport. Fucking disgusting places. Um, but I'm okay. I don't, I don't let fucking disease set me down. Um, what's it called? Hold me back. It's just, it's just a bit of a phlegmy throat thing. Which is more of a nuisance than anything else. It's actually funny because I was in the UK, which it's like late uh, late autumn, so it was freezing cold there. And I came back to Australia. It's fucking hot now. So I've gone from one extreme to the other, sort of. It was um, so cold there, it was actually snowing. Just a little bit. That's the first time I ever saw it, ever seen uh, snow. Never snows here. Okay, so uh, I'm just wasting time here. Alright, so let's, let's look at the buildings that need to be done. Alright, no way I've got enough money to, to go to all... Spend money in all buildings. Um, let's see here. Okay, so this region... I'm already building something here. So I want to be building in my core territories around here first. Now, we've got to be careful about what we build. We can't just build whatever we want because a lot of these buildings have downsides. It's sort of like a tiller that way. Not all of them do. Also, it seems like one of my neighbors... Uh, they've been building like a shed for like the past fucking three weeks. It seems like they never stop. And I've had like one or two people say, Hey, it's Legend, why don't you get a studio and so you soundproof it? And, yeah, you fucking try and find the money for that. Well, yeah, I can't, I can't afford to bloody do that, okay? So, fuck, I have to deal with the best with what I've got. All the best I can do is close all the windows and doors in the house. Which, by the way, turns the house into a fucking sauna. So, you know, you can only do so much to knock out the noise from outside. Alright, so let's see. Um, roads, I don't know, let's see, um, maybe town guard would be, no, we've already got free upkeep units, there's a lot of religious unrest here, so maybe, where is it, a small orthodox church, that'd be useful there, I guess, I probably could actually increase the tax rate, but I don't know. Okay, there's some mines here, but they don't really provide much. And I know a lot of people go, yeah, yeah, go straight for the mines. But if you look here, it actually lowers the public health, so it's not actually worth it. It may not ever be worth it to actually build that, but we'll see. Uh, Orthodox Church. See, that increases public health and uh, would help get rid of the religious unrest. So I might go with that. So, looks like I'm just building orthodox churches all over the place, then I guess. 
I gotta be very careful in what I'm purchasing. Because not like in vanilla where, you know, you can just... Whatever you produce is not going to have a negative downside. Unless you're like building lots of farms and you've already got squalor problems. So once again, fair amount of religious unrest. Might be best if we try and get rid of that. Again, the mining here is just not really good enough. I mean, if you look at the corruption here, I mean, you only really get like 160 out of that. Which isn't good. There's already hardly any bloody public health here. I don't need that. Um... Let me look at these carpenters. They... It's just basically like increases the tradable goods, which probably will be much better off once this settlement hits a higher stage. But right now, that's really sort of pointless. I mean, it doesn't have any downsides to it. It's just I'm sure there's better things we can build, like fish market as well. It's just, it's just not enough yet. So that's good for lowering corruption. So let's do that. Greece should be part of our core territory, so let's invest in these territories. Uh, town Hall. So what the Town Hall does? It decreases happiness, increases law. Not really that important right now. Public order is under control. Let's just let, What we need to do is get these settlements bigger. I think that's when we can really start to customize them a bit more. Right now, it's kind of hard to see what direction we want them to go into. Now, this region here has got much more, um, much more goods, I suppose. Slavery is a crime. What the fuck is that? Or whatever. Um, let's see here. So yeah, these these mines here are much more worth doing than the other ones. Even though there's a lot of corruption, we can try and mitigate that a bit later on. Alright, so if we look at this, we're, we're making a decent amount of cash, so that's good. And health, let me just check the three armies again. So we got this one, yes, Lord. that's just doing his own thing. And we got this one. Moving up against the, who are we up against here? The, I can't even remember because it's been a while since I played it. I'm up against the Abbasids. Right. Alright, let's move on to the next turn. That's okay, we kind of knew they were going to besiege the cinema, but what we wanted them to do was sort of delay. We wanted to delay them. That's why we didn't attack that army head on. So this is the, uh, this is the French. Seems like some Muslims have showed up in Crete. So the Duchy of Croatia wanted to trade rights, but let's see what else we can snatch out of them. I would like map information for map information, and I would like to get some more money. Now, let's see if I can also get an alliance from them. Not that I, I normally don't care about alliances, but let's just let's just see how we go with that. Oh, come on, you dickhead. Alright, so they, they definitely want trade, so we'll give them that. Oh, what a fuckhead. Whatever. Sounds like someone's besieging all my settlements. Seems like here comes all the attacks. We lasted six turns with relative peace. That's okay. I got three good solid armies. We'll, we'll outmaneuver them. Okay, so it's just one settlement that seems like it's besieged by Bulgaria. And what was it down here? Okay, it wasn't at Crete. It was at Naxos. And that army there, we definitely won't be able to beat that with this here. I, I really doubt that. And there's nothing here we can recruit. Except for more ships. But there's... Some poor mining here. I wouldn't worry about it. If they take it, they take it. We'll come back another time. Alright. So, okay. We've got a settlement up here that's under siege. That we've besieged. These guys will maintain... 
garrison afterwards. There's nothing in here, so it's... We could probably auto-resolve it. Do not translate. Okay, it's an interesting building. Um, but just out of curiosity, we could punch our way back through here and actually stop them. And it would probably be a decent idea to do that. Because what they've done here, it looks like they've weak... Oh, no. They're still at full strength. Even with one, one force there, they're still going to be dangerous. Yes. All right, so yes. let's attack this. I think we can just get away with an order resolve on this one because obviously there's nothing in there. Yeah, so we, we lose ten men. I, I guarantee manually resolve. I would have lost a lot more. Sort of. Okay, so we want to we want to bang a few heads. Keep this settlement under control. Can we still make it over there? Yeah, we should still be able to. So we want to we want to lift that siege over there. Alright. <coughs> Excuse me. I need to uh, reform this a little bit. Yeah, just stand over here. Got a non-standardized army, but whatever. Get in there. You come over here. And we'll need to lower the tax rates. And introduce, of course, um, the church. What's this? Estates. Doesn't matter. Okay, so what else? Alright, we got our forces over here. Where are they? You are to be heading up here to be taking these rebel settlements. There's more rebel up this way, but... Justinianopolis. That sounds like one of our, or should be a core territory. Problem with my army here is full of Aquantistae, which are garbage. God will be with us, men. To battle. Just curious. Also, I, I found out why I can't accept, um, or why we're not getting any men of the hours. Okay, so the reason for it is because we've got, we've essentially only got one family member, um, Emperor Basil, but he's already he's already got four sons. No. No lord or general can ever have more than four sons. That's why we can't accept any more. Once he becomes of age in two or three turns or whatever they've set it at, then we'll be able to get ourselves four more. And then, four mo and then of course, if we're adopting them, then, then they can get four more and then so on and so, um, so, on, so forth, as they say. But we've got to wait for those sons to come of age before we can spam generals. Okay, now I have no idea where we're going down this way. So we've got to tread carefully. They've still got the sort of the um, the Venetian symbol there. I'm sure that's that stuff that's just going to be fixed in time. Okay. Uh, looks like we're just going to have to take it one step at a time. Yes, Lord. Because I don't know what to expect. But we should try and stay close to the coast. Move out. I don't know where the settlement is. Onward. Well, there it is. Good. Alright, well that's definitely doable. So we'll besiege that. And take it next turn. Alright, now it's up to Basil to get rid of these Bulgarian forces over here. Yes, my lord. This is where we shall meet the enemy. The day is ours. The enemy Now, whilst we don't need to kill these guys, killing them will will be good. So let's kill them. Yes. Crossing for battle. The troops are assembled. Prepare for battle. It'll also help give him some stats. Well, the problem is though that um, the battle's so heavily in our favor that probably not going to give us any stats. I don't actually want it to fight at night though. It's too dark. I need to be able to see what I'm doing. Alright, so let's start with just using the horse archers. They look like javelin cav. It's very high up. <coughs> Excuse me, fuck. Oh, I 
can't really manipulate my forces at all properly. God, bloody hell, I have to move them one at a time. Which is irritating. Alright, so what are these units here? We've got two lots of spears, we got... What are they? Something and some cav. Alright, hang on. Alright, good. There's no... Um, don't shoot yet. They've got no, mi uh, no missile troops, so you're... You can go over there with them. Oh, come on, idiots. Alright. We need to gain the high... We need to at least gain equal footing with them. I hate flaming shot. It's bloody garbage. You know, I told you to come over here, bumpkin. Alright, um, man, they never stop with this fucking construction thing. It's been going on for weeks. I mean, how long does it take to build a fucking shed? Not that I would know. I never build anything. I'm more about tearing things down. Okay, I think we should aim for the light curve first. It'd be an easier target. seem to be doing very much damage just yet. Could also be because it's raining. If we kill their general... Oh, okay, actually, we are doing a bit of damage. If we kill their general, if that is their general, which it should be, because it's cavalry, um, then we could crash into them, for example, and possibly break them. Although it does seem like morale is a lot heavier in this campaign than in, uh, say, vanilla. Breaking the enemy army is just not quite as easy in mods, usually. Okay, it looks like they're coming towards us. Makes sense. So yeah, you can see they've got the, the green stuff around them now. So that's much, much easier to play this now. So what we're doing there is just... Stopping them from it uh, from coming forward because we've got a we don't have a high ground advantage here at all. Um, I'll just pull my guys here a little bit further back. Just let my missile units have a bit more of a go. But then again, we don't want we don't want their mil uh, their cav smashing into my um, into my missile troops. So. Guys, come. So once again, I've had to turn off the music due to copyright issues. The, it's copyrighted music used in this mod. I, I can't showcase it on my channel. If it was um, Total War-based music like it is on Stainless Steel, then I could. But uh, because it's not, I, I can't do it. He flees the field of battle. At the... It is unwise to praise the day before sunset. But our men are winning the battle and forging a worthy victory. Oh, shit, I should have got those guys out of there. Now they're getting a bit the smashed. Lord above is kind. We have captured the enemy's general. Doesn't look like they lost anyone, though, so that's good. Okay, we captured the enemy general. Ah, oh, come on. Problem with um, these kind of battles is that the uh, units can be a bit badly res well, not really responsive at all. We've only killed 50% of them. Alright. I see. That's so much better now that we can actually see who the enemy is. How'd I go? I lost 0%. Okay, if you guys can stop shooting. I don't want to get any friendly fire. You guys stop shooting as well and chase them down. There's no reason to let any of them live. So we get to... Above 85%, which we've done. And then we can execute them. Because we wouldn't get much of a ransom from that anyway. It'd be pointless. 
but we're still not strong enough, I think, to take on that main army of theirs. What we want to see from them is for to to, uh, to split them up, divide and conquer them. So yeah, just execute that. So much easier to take on smaller forces. All right. And then we need to come over here and put a stop to this motherfucker right here. He'll probably withdraw. So we could just move on somewhere else. But yeah. Anyway, let's kill him. I really like the fact that uh, attached generals have so much extra movement. I really like that. It puts a lot more focus on having generals in your army, not just spamming armies with captains. But it's not like it's unlimited movement, it's just a lot. So who is this? This is that one of their family members. So this is going to hurt them badly to kill this guy. I had not bother with the night attack. <coughs> So yeah, if those, if those, if the bigger army besieges a settlement, we'll probably just let them take that settlement, and they'll have to leave some units behind if they want to keep moving their army. Then we come back over them and kill them. They're no longer a full stack anymore. All right then, these goddamn levels with with this shit. So where are they? Over here. Over here, so you can shoot them. Yeah, shoot the general. Wait, hang on. Their general is this guy here. I didn't realize they'd be infantry. They look like a uh, French bodyguard from like the um, from the America's campaign. Okay, holding a big high ground here will also be quite useful. How many hit points does this motherfucker have? Two. I don't think they're shooting properly. Get a little bit closer. the cavalry first, cut the legs off their army, then the rest is easy. God damn it, stop defaulting to flaming shot. Get that guy's there. Shit! I just press. No, 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 stay put. Okay, their cavalry appear to be gone. Now we just need to Shit, can we go after you? You can get out of there. Okay, now you come up here. I would like you to charge into the general if you could. It is unwise to praise the day before sunset. But our men are winning the battle and forging a worthy victory. Yeah, if you kill him, that'll easily. Uh, looks like we've already broken a lot of their forces. I mean, this this general of theirs was nothing spectacular. Also, a good thing about these battles is because we're getting the opportunity to execute a lot of soldiers, it's going to increase dread. Ah, shit, they're not going to charge properly when they're disorganized like that. The enemy are badly bloody. They have lost half They're not organizing the themselves very well. Enemy general flees like the coward he is. Ha, what a coward. Onward, we must be getting some dread. Because uh, he broke very quickly. 
Good, capture him so we can execute him. That'll be good for, for Dread. Okay, must have captured him. Good. Alright, that'll do. This is a clear victory that goes to only men of bread. Could actually make a decent amount of cash for him, but we don't really need the cash, so execute him, motherfucker. No, he doesn't have any dread, so I don't know what's going on there. He's got a lot of command, which is good. Um, we want to, of course, stay as far away from this motherfucker as we possibly can. Otherwise, he'll try and attack us. There's another settlement up here. Obviously, we can't make it there this turn. If I come over here, that leaves us open to attack from this army. It might be best if we... Maybe come around over here. Like I said, we want to um, avoid that army until they split it up. I mean, we managed to save these guys, so that's good. Okay, with that, I think we'll end the video there. So, I think the situation is looking good. I mean, it looks like there's a few possible enemies coming, but, you know, we've got... We're taking settlements, you know, our, our economy's growing. Won't be long before we get some new generals. And then, uh, then we'll raise some more armies and go and kill some more of these bastards. Anyway, that's the end of this episode, so like and subscribe. Part 6 is next, and don't forget to visit me on Facebook. See you next time, fuckers.